Good evening, I'm Michael Rinker. Two people are dead after late night car crashes. One of the victims being a teenager from the Wiregrass, another just late last night taking the life of an Ashford man. WDHN's Christian Jones has more on this weekend's busy travel. Yeah, Michael, we are outside and you know the traffic has died down just a bit, but there are still travelers on the road and with these two tragic deaths, it should pay as a reminder to everyone to stay safe while traveling. With Memorial Day weekend kicking off today, millions of travelers are expected to be hitting the roads. According to AAA, nearly 40 million drivers are expected to be on the roads this year, the most it's ever been since the year 2000. With an increase in traffic coming through the Wiregrass area, one state trooper says that she is beefing up security to protect those on the roads. We try to make sure that we ensure a heavier presence of troopers as well as other agencies that we partner with to enforce our traffic laws on our highways and roadways. Just before the start of the holiday weekend, however, two lives were tragically lost in separate crashes. Late Thursday night, Ashford resident Taylor Williams was killed when he was involved in a wreck involving an 18-wheeler and a pickup truck. The accident occurred on the intersection of Barrington Road and Montgomery Highway. On Wednesday night, 17-year-old Elbertine Dane Mormon died when his vehicle ran off the road in the 1400 block of County Road 702 in Enterprise and hit a culvert, killing him on impact. Due to the recent death, two Wiregrass residents say they are taking extra precaution and safety measures this year while traveling. Keep a distance in between the cars in front of you as they stop and go you know, fast suddenly. Uh, speed is, is one thing. Don't get in a hurry because uh, you can only go as fast as the traffic allows. So basically that's it. Just leave an escape path mainly. As travelers hit the roads, McKinney wants to remind drivers that anything can happen at any given time. The biggest thing is to be attentive when you're driving. Don't get so comfortable or lax. Always be defensive when you're driving. Expect the unexpected because it only takes that one second that you know you could just be running to the store. You decide not to put your seatbelt on. That could be that situation that you're involved in a traffic crash and it could cost you your life. But Kenny also says that she and her team will be conducting more driver's license tests while also checking for speeding. Now, according to McKinney, shortly after this Memorial Day weekend, Aaliyah will be launching their 101 Days of Safety, which encourages people while also giving out tips on how to be safe on the roads. We're live in Dothan, Christian Jones, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.